Hi. Today, on our video tutorial number 35, we're going to play with some basic effects in Jitter. Um, so let's uh, open that, uh, oh come on you, yeah. uh, recent patcher number 27 that's so handy. There it is. And the first thing we're going to do is make this a patcher window instead of a regular window. So unlock this patcher, type the letter P in there, and as soon as you click outside here, you get the little patcher window. Um, so, to make this all nice, let's move this over here. Make this nice and big, or as big as it can be. And uh, I'm going to, you know, I discovered that hitting um, Command Plus zooms things rather nicely right in the max window so I don't have to be doing a an actual window zoom okay anyway so we wanted to do some simple um, some simple effects the very simplest ones and we're gonna do them quickly because on this computer I have a time limit interestingly enough so let's Let's get a color movie up here, maybe Dishes, which is just a bunch of dishes. And we'll turn it on and look at it real quick here. There they are, the dishes. Um, and uh, unlock your patcher again. And let's just type uh, N for a new object. And then type uh, J I T dot B R C. O S A. Bercosa. Jit Bercosa. What does it do? Well, um, I believe I'm just making some space here. Um, it's that it stands for uh, brightness, contrast, and saturation. But this is, of course, just a belief on my part. Nobody ever really says it, but yet it's such a coincidence. So you can take your Bercosa object and just stick it right down here. If you can get all these helpful signs to turn off every now and then. It's just new technology. It likes to help you. And then all we need to get the Bercosa object to work is the attribute object, which you can get by typing N A T T and there it is R U I A T T R U I and connect it right to the top of the jitter percosa. And if you lock your patcher, you'll get to choose from something rather than nothing. So let's look at brightness. Normally the brightness is 1, and if we scroll down towards 0, it'll get quite dark. Whoops, into the negative numbers. Got to be careful about that. But here we go. 0.3, etc., coming back up. And then we can keep going up, and there we are at about 10 times brightness, and it's just blown right out. So uh, you can also just type the 1 in here, and you get the regular stuff back. What else can we control here? <clears throat> well, um, contrast, of course, easy enough. There you get the very low contrast, nice gray nothingness. And if you go real high, you'll get super high contrast. Okay, send that back to 1. And you can also try satur saturation. Here's a heading towards 0. Whoops. zero saturation, it's black and white, and some oversaturation there at 10 times saturation, and here again we're back to normal. Okay, and I'm not sure if this is going to work, I'm just going to try it. Dimensions. Sometimes you can change the pixel dimensions of the um, the jitter matrix, but the the matrix window below. Notice that, as an extreme coincidence, it um, 
is displaying 320 by 240 because it sensed that because this metronome is banging that into there. We may be able to change it, but it will probably just jump back to what it is. So let's just go go for it and try to yeah, you click on it and you make it something and then as soon as you let go of it, it's pretty much back at 320 again. Same with yeah, same with 240. Okay. You can't change it unless you're dealing with like a matrix object. Um, let's uh, look at another object here and we don't really need the Burkos object is while we're looking for the other object so unlock your patcher again and type in here Rota R-O-T-A so that's JIT Rota which if I had to guess has something to do with rotating rotation I think it's just rotation okay and now if you lock your patcher you can see under here you get all of these uh, anchor XY bound mode offset XY uh, cosine scale XY dimensions interpret offset XY a lot of XY which makes me think that what we really want is two of these so that we could control them at the same time so let's option click on that whoops no let's unlock our patcher option click make a new one let's grab this metronome and toggle and option click and make a new one of those too except we'll uh, uh, turn this one down a little bit make it 80 instead of 40 so it's not just going crazy and then we'll make another new object a counter C-O-U-N-T-E-R space um, with the arguments on the counter uh, if you put a 2 in as your first argument it will count up and down so then we'll have it count from uh, 0 to 10 seem to work for the other um, effect so why don't we just stick with it so we'll uh, move this back over here connect it up and connect the output one to here and one to here and then whatever we do to oops I ended up with that extra one as you often do and then if we lock it and the cosine whoops come on whoops. oh this one's not connected to anything so it doesn't know what it is my fault sorry connect that one there we go now it knows what's going on such a smart little object okay so uh, there it is cosine offset of y and uh, let's start our metro and see what happens woo 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 so because they're both running at the same time of course I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you get the idea here it's really just zooming rapidly okay which we could probably also do with the zoom which I noticed on here um, or we could uh, cause some real trouble unlock your patcher for a second and just connect one of these over to the other oh no no, no that doesn't have a counter my apologies uh, we could always make uh, two of these and then get a counter but uh, in the meantime, let's just uh, turn off this metronome. Oh, that's funny. I didn't realize it would go back to zero just like... Oh, it doesn't. It was just a coincidence. Nice. So you can get zero again. Wham. Nope. I got a one. Okay. So make it a zero. And make it a zero before you go on to the next one or you'll find yourself with a very, very affected video. And then, uh, what else can we play with on here? Sine offset of x and the sine offset of y. And then we'll lock our, whoops, unlock our, relock our patcher and hit it. Whoa! Whoa! So it's just twisting off the... 
uh, where did I just make it 800 so it runs really slow and lock it and then click this off and then back on because it otherwise they so seven six five four three two one zero yeah so clearly you want most of the action to take place between about one and five but it's it's rotating the image out and then out again as it counts up and down very exciting um, We could also, uh, yeah, <laughs> and let's just find out what theta offset cosine x does and theta offset cosine y. What do they do? Well, oh, we'll never know because I didn't reset the other ones. <laughs> Um, what was it? Sine offset x and sine offset y are still at um, at six. So make those zeros. This is and you notice if you do these um, without the metronome running, so they're separate, you can get some like. Back and forth there, you know, and up and down, a lot of squiggling. So, anyway, make them both zero again so we can go see what the theta offset does. And, uh, theta offset cosine y, and here they go. I have absolutely no idea. Maybe they need to be a smaller increment, which I was suspecting before. Um, so turn that off because it's always difficult to see too much abuse going on. Um, let's get this thing running fast again. Unlock your patcher and uh, get rid of one of those zeros and then we'll have it count up to a hundred so put another zero in there but now we'll um, confuse everything get another new object this is going to count to a hundred but we only want it to go up to uh, we, we, um, maybe two <laughs> so we'll divide by fifty fifty point zero I mean fifty point zero and then, I know, I have a better idea. Divide by 25, and then we will subtract. Uh, just divide by 25. I can't make it any more complicated. I'll go crazy. Okay. So. If we divide by 25, we should be getting up to 25. I, I, I'm going to 